What up everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eli from That's So Eli, your basic Disney enthusiast where every week I find something to DIY. And in this week's video, since it's our second installment of That's So Spooky for my Halloween series, in this week's video, we'll be going back in time to a simpler time of 1937, where Disney released his first animated full-length feature. We will be making some evilish recipes inspired by our evil queen and hopefully she doesn't give us a poison apple like and like fall asleep and wait for our true love. Honestly, if I find my true love after that, it's fine. But you know what? Let's jump into the video. Whoop. Carbs anyone? So this will be for the witch's bowl, the cauldron cauldron for our lovely evil queen. So the first step is to mix it, mix together some cold milk and some hot water. And this will create just a good temperature for when we add the yeast, because if it's if the thing is too hot, it'll kill the yeast. If it's too cold, then it won't act. Oh, I'm trying not to spill it like I did. Honestly, I'm really trying here, but you know, nobody's perfect. So then afterwards, when you have that mixture and you just give a quick stir, you want to add in your sugar and your butter um, and make sure that the butter is melted. Otherwise, it just won't mix properly. And then afterwards, you just want to let it sit, let it relax, let the yeast bubble and grow. Oh, is she growing already? We see her growth. We see prosperity. Future! There we go. Now she's all lumpy. She got some thickness to her. You want to add the flour in two stages, just so that um, it doesn't get uh, so it's more even. So the, f so the first batch, you should get almost like a pancake, waffle, kind of batter consistency. And when you add the second one, then you'll see the more like doughy t texture. So from pancake to Pillsbury. Wow, iconic. Anyway. And after, you want to make sure that all the flour is hydrated so that when you go over and start kneading it for at least like five minutes, I found five minutes is a good time for kneading, um, that you just want to keep, uh, put it in a bowl after and uh, put some pasta wrap and just leave it there. Oh, she proof. Show me the proof. And then cut it into six pieces. I chose six, but you could do um, four or something smaller. It just depends on how big you want your but your buns to be or your pretzel buns to be. And then afterwards, in doing this uh, technique, similar to like dumplings, kind of, you just want to pull it onto itself and like pull it together and like tie it at the bottom. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, so just kind of like watch carefully. It's similar to dumplings, um, uh, to be honest. It's a similar like technique. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Uh, by taking the water and the uh, baking soda, that you do this so that it creates the chewy texture. And this is really important than just putting it straight into the oven. Um, it's, it's, it's similar to bagels to create the chewy texture. And this is very quick. You don't do it for that long, like 90 seconds. And then afterwards, uh, you brush it, brush it with some um, egg and an egg wash. So some, just one egg and some water. And then afterwards, when you do that, you, you just want to snip it with some scissors. And then it's in the oven Ooh, for 20 minutes. Pasta. Look at that boil. It's, a, it's a very peaceful. It's like a sauna. It's a sauna for the pasta noodles, but they're being eaten. Anyway, so after the, when your pasta is cooked um, with any noodle, you want to create the roux. So this is an, an, a same part mixture of flour to butter or like flour to fat. Uh, this will help create thi the thickening agent, the thickening agent for our pasta. So do, and then after when you add the milk, you can use dairy milk here if you want. Um, I just chose like 1% or 2% milk. Um, and then for here, you, you want to add the milk in stages just so... Um, it can kind of gradually add it. Almost like similar when you temper chocolate. You can have tempering this, but like not in the same way, but anyway. And then you want to keep stirring until it gets nice and thick from the flour water. Flour water. Flour. Flour butter. Flour butter. The roux. Oh, remember from iCarly, like roux the day? So funny. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. What was his name? I forget his name. Anyway. And then after, when you add your cheeses, um, uh, you, you want to go for cheeses that are, um, like, white. Um, so I, I, I chose, like, like, uh, I think I forget. I, I think it was, like, Havarti, Monterey Jack? Or, like, mozzarella and Parmesan. Um, so basically, since these are all white cheeses, when you add the special ingredient at the end, you'll see what that is. Um, it'll, like, mix 
it'll it'll like it won't change it versus when you add like cheddar cheese it might change it a bit um and then after just adding some pepper i didn't really add too much salt only because there's only a lot of salt and cheese and then and i don't want this to be too salty so and, and you can always add salt later to your own dish anyway so pepper and some nutmeg they give it a little spice a little spice you know honestly nutmeg is like such a good spice for the fall time because like the whole like pumpkin spice thing love that um, and then, and then afterwards, you want to keep keep mixing it until it's all all combined. You're just gonna make sure. And also, sorry, also didn't mention the stove is off after when you added the pasta, just so none of the pasta burns. And then for the magic ingredient, you'll see in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, the evil queen would be so proud. Honestly, this is okay, like a wicked color. Be our guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. Oh my god. I have to watch the movie tonight. Anyway, so basically for the bread, you just want to um, only cut a, not that much off the top, but just enough to scoop out as I'm doing right now. Um, and you can still, and don't don't throw this out. Still eat, like, honestly, just eat it after or just toast it and make some nice croutons. Ooh, she prepared or whatever. And then you just want to take your pasta and, uh, and, just, and, and just scoop it in and try to make sure that you fill it and that it's not just like, there's like, little cracks left um also a good suggestion if you wanted to you can also toast the bread again afterwards so the inside is toasty as well um so that'd be a nice contrast to the creamy in the thing and this would be a nice dish for halloween and i'm now taking prepared for our second dish which is the dessert part which is the poison apple you just want to butter a like tin with like some parchment paper and butter and then the apples and then some toppings i just chose uh, some al um not almonds one pecan pecans pecans and uh peanuts um that i just ground in and then for the apples the first thing you need to do is to remove the stem you could leave it but I guess you just traditionally take it off. And then when stabbing these sticks, um, I just have popsicle sticks um, uh, to, to stab it in. Feel free to use a knife only if you have an adult present or like if you feel safe enough or if you are safe enough. Um, I don't want to like a loose thumb here. <laughs> and then put it in the freezer. Now, honestly, caramel, I don't know how you really pronounce it. I, I don't know. I think I just say caramel. But anyway, um, to, uh, to the pot. You just want to add the sugar and water, um, yeah, <laughs> and then you want to put it at medium heat and and just add some lemon juice. Basically, the lemon juice uh, will help it to not crystallize around the border. Um, similar to what I'm doing right now by brushing it with, uh, with some water, um, just so like as the water is boiling, you don't want to crystallize, and as it's boiling, it'll change color. Ooh, it'll tan. Um, and then after you can add your cream and vanilla in. And then the cream and vanilla- oh my god, I think my stomach is grumbling. Anyway, it's it, it's hungry looking at this. <laughs> um, average- oh my god, that song is so good. Oh, TikTok. Basically, be ca very careful when you're dipping the apples in here. Like, it's super hot. Like, and the thing is, like, you just don't want to burn yourself. Otherwise, it, and plus the caramel will stick. So it's just going to continue. So yeah, the only thing you want to stick is the nuts and any other toppings you want. <laughs> you don't want it to stick on your finger. Um, uh, so yeah, and, and you just want to dip, uh, 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 dip the apples any way you want. And, and then here you go. So technically you can leave it here, but there'll be an extra step that we have to face. Um, so we're taking an egg yolk and then and by and by okay my mom's calling me to eat <laughs> I'm sorry uh, by loosening up um, so, some uh, one egg white and then just and continuously adding um, some powdered sugar I always around a cup and then after it, uh, when it's done you can add your um, what did I say oh I forgot what I was saying but you can add it into your like piping bag if, if you don't have a piping bag you can honestly just use like a, a plastic bag either is fine um, and then afterwards, uh, for doing the face, to first outline the face of, well, it's not the face, it's more like two eyes and like the nose. So you just want to outline that first, um, just so it's easier to do so. And you can always like erase his fat first. And then afterwards, the next step is to outline around it. So just filling in and adding some of the drips, macaroni in a pot. Um, uh, and, and, and as you can see, I did it for the other ones first, just so they can dry. So that when you add the rest um, of the batter, 
for it. Also, I, I, I want to mention that the icing, I, I had two consistencies. The one when outlining was thicker, um, the one that went in the piping bag, and the one I'm dripping right now is thinner to achieve two different um, techniques. And after when it's done, bitch. Bitch. Honestly, I feel like I just came back from the Disney parks because I have my ears, even though you look kind of creepy. <laughs> How do you like it? Honestly, I've been talking to my lovely friend over here, Mimi, that's what Eli, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Do you like it? Yeah. Honestly, so, so creepy. But honestly, good person to listen to, so. So I really hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, feel free to subscribe down below. Feel free to give it a like, and maybe comment if you think I'm gonna like die from this apple actually no don't comment that <laughs> maybe comment ooh what's your favorite Halloween movie Disney or non-Disney horror movie I don't know so, so we hope to see y'all in the next video that happened <laughs> so we hope to see y'all in the next video mm. so good Okay, bye. I'm gonna finish the apple now. Wait, am I falling asleep? Yeah, I'm just joking. Okay, bye. See ya!